Welcome back everyone, this is Dragon in White here and we are playing another, well, we're still playing Final Fantasy XIV. This is like uh, one of the episodes in a series of, this is like one of the series of the episodes within the stream. So uh, we are here to get today with Fluffy Goblin and Mind It Up. Hello. Hi, welcome, thank you for joining us. Yep, and uh, those of you on stream, you've been here with us for a while, so, you know, um, yeah, happy to see that you're still here with us. So, uh, last time you explored uh, Limsa Lo Lominsa, or Lo Limins Limonsa? Yep, Limsa, Limsa Lominsa. There we go. And uh, now that we're sort of collected, some ether we collected the Aetherite shards, and we are going to proceed on to the next place. More flying! After that, we just teleport. Yep. It's Which, much cheaper to fly. So what happens? Oh, it's much cheaper to fly. Okay. So we we do have access mm -hmm. to the airship after this, right? Yes. Okay. I was okay. about to ask what happens if we forget to attune ourselves to the crystals. You airship. yeah. You will have access to the airship. Once you complete this quest, so you can just go back to the airship to go to the city again. Okay, cool. Well, now that I got the 100k, wouldn't mind teleporting around. <laughs> that was that very, is very, very hungry. kind of them. Sawa Chan, I think it was. It was. She was very, very kind. Very kind. <laughs> hey, and it's still raining here. Ah, uh, rain. I never really liked rain in games. Like, for one, it puts a stronger demand on your system. Well, my system is fine, it can handle it, but there's also all the extra noise and visuals kind of. Oh, I love the sound uh, of rain. Oh, yes, it's not raining. There's no way you're yes! It's Aww. <laughs> Sad. I mean, now it's all sunny and bright and hot, but it's still Gridania, and I love Gridania. I would say, just the general look of this area feels more pleasant than Limsa. It's wonderful, isn't it? It is, and the airport is much larger. Ah, oh, you I'm must be an envoy. Uh, must be the envoy. Actually, we, you know, kind of repeated. Yep. Okay, um. Hey, you guys are. Hello! So. Main quest? Yep. Open honor guard. Greetings, Ooh, good uh. sir. You're the. Ooh, oh, ooh. Udan. Udan envoy, are you not? I have received Ooh, instructions um, to assist you. Pray, make your way to the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nofika's altar. Altar. She will can, admit I'll you. Make up can help her right. you. What? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we'll pick up some Aetherite shards on the way. Okay. Uh, she will admit you to the Lotus Stand where the Elder sits here, Rebecca. Yay! Okay, uh, upwards. Okay. I must say, I am. Jumping upstairs is impressive. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so this is the Adventurous Guild of Sword? Yep. Mm -hmm. Since it's so close to the Aetherite Plaza here, um, uh, it doesn't have its own. That's convenient, too. Uh, right yeah. Either. I would say I actually like this better out of the three cities you can set this for your main city if you'd like <laughs> once you're done attuning you can actually have the option for setting this as your home ether right? it again. set home point well yes i'm gonna leave it at odan first wait you're gonna set it here i'm gonna set mine here because i like this city <laughs> Okay, we should go. Yeah, Mine's okay, I'll, set I'll set it here then. Set home. 
We should go to the Archer's Guild first, which is... This Where way. Am I? Yeah, this thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I still need to go back to Od Odar later though. I need to pick up the last yeah. two quests there. Uh, classes. We'll be able yeah. to do so. For the we'll pugilist. still be able to do so. We'll just uh, teleport there. I'm going to have to do that as well for my class. Right, because our class yeah. quest is there. Yeah, it might be a better idea to keep our teleport point there for now. Oh, that reminds me, uh, mine. It's too this... late, you already changed it. <laughs> uh, okay, there's this, uh, free destination thing with a security token. Have you done that? No, what is that? You have to look at the main Aetherite shard to see it. Oh, okay. Come check out this view, dragon! Uh... Yeah. Looks so cool. Pretty. I do like it. It's uh uh the one at Limsa actually looks pretty nice, sort of, but it's kind of like just grey and dark. Whereas I prefer this it's, it's kind of similar but this has more greenery and water. Well Limsa's planted in the middle of an ocean, which is why you get a lot of the grey. Hey. But Gridania's in the middle of a forest. I do agree, this is much more pleasing to the eyes, and Oda is like, uh, well, too yeah. much sand, too barren wasteland. It's a desert. Yeah. <laughs> I like that they did different styles of tundra and everything for each city. Mm hmm. Into the next area, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, this is the market. Uh oh, okay. The market. Yeah, yeah, okay. The when you said market, I was like thinking of something else. This is here. So, should we loop around or should we grab this one first? We should I, grab this one first. I mean, it's yeah. nearby. So the aetherite shard you you will want to grab for the market is actually the leather workers aetherite shard. The Leather Workers Guild? Forgetting that I already have these big 30 shards. <laughs> but then we'll go to... back to the market. Ah, oh, he looks so cool! Uh, he the does guy look the... very cool. Kanzik Fort level yeah. question mark? That's what? a level 80 Dark Knight. Ooh. He's How did he... Oh, the... The FC name is level question mark. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, speaking of FC, what do you think? Oh no. And also the grand company. So does it matter if we are in different grand companies? Yes, we can only choose one grand company. At a time. You can change them. Time. The first time is free. After that, it's 50,000 gil each time. An FC or free company is essentially a player guild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. So, do we want to join the same grand company? I'm thinking we might want to consider that just to make things a little bit easier when we're doing quests. Right. But we don't have to decide that until we hit the level 20 MSQ. Ah. Well, we are doing level 15, so we aren't actually really too far away from that, I think. True. There will be a whole bunch of different quests we'll have to do, and we'll get introductions to what the different free companies stand One. for. Linsa is my favorite. Till sea you. swallows all. Cross pirates. I will show you. <laughs> a, a secret Aye. spot. It's not all that secret, but it's kind of secret. So if you go over to this guy, he's called Jonas, the master of roles. Jonathus. He gives you rewards on Jonathus. He gives you rewards based on how many achievements you've gotten in the game. Ooh, I got a one. So you can certificate. exchange your certificates, and it'll show you the first three are the armors. So you'll have a goblin cap, a fat chocobo head, and a ribbon. 
But if you tab over to others, this has the whole bunch of different minions and it has a couple of different bardings, which are um, Choco. aesthetic armor for your chocobo. And it has a couple of mounts you can actually get. Ooh. The Behemoth Warhorn, the Magitech Deathclaw is huge. The Magitech Deathclaw and the Voidal Resonator are all mounts. So if you are ever interested in getting any of these mounts, you can get them just by playing the game. But you'll want to make sure you save up at least six of these tokens. Uh, why? Because they cost six tokens. Oh, okay. I thought you meant always have yeah. six tokens on hand. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. And you can get all three of them. Yeah. Pretty quickly, actually. I got two already, so that seems like something. Okay, so nice. these are minions. Minions don't do much. Not as functional. It's all aesthetic stuff. So you aren't actually getting anything that's going to give you an edge in gameplay. Except which is, for the in my opinion, kind mount? of nice. The mounts does give you a bit of an edge, doesn't it? Nope. No? The it's only like mount that you can use... Sorry. Go ahead. The only mount that you can use to aid you in combat is your normal chocobo. And we'll go over that when we get our chocobos. Well, not so much in terms of... Um, combat, but it allows you to move around much faster. That's something. Yes, um, that is true. Some mounts are faster than others. This is also true. So of the three yeah. mounts mentioned there, which is the fastest? I think they're all the same. I think they're all just normal. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But uh, most of your though. speed increase on your mounts is going to come from leveling in the main story quest. Oh. And it will go by region. Okay. That is interesting. Yeah. And but... it'll tell you when you have a speed increase. Ah. Shiny. Oh yeah, I already have this. Okay, so what's this place? <laughs> Mikoto's Amphitheater. Mikoto's Amphitheater. Ah, Don't rely on me to pronounce things correctly. Hello, giant Moogle and giant Kakbar. Uh, where's the giant Mugo? It's he on the back of the giant on the Kakbar's bum. Oh, oh, okay. Goodness. Next giant. <laughs> uh, okay, to be fair, it is normally tiny. It's not the biggest Moogle I've seen. The biggest well, one is at big. the Gold Spot. Yeah. Where did people go? There's I'm Fluffy. over here. Where's Dragon? There's Dragon. They're here. I'm here. Where are we going next? Next Uh-oh. Oh. Which direction? Yeah, we're starting. Um, we have to cross the bridge. Do we want to go get the botanist one first and then end ourselves up at the uh, Yeah, that's a good idea. Guild? So you cross the bridge either way, so. No, you gotta run to catch up. Come on, Pudgy Puck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'm behind anyway. Wait, you're further behind. <laughs> This is where you pick up botany. Yeah, but uh, conveniently, the weaver class probably involves a lot of uh, botany collection. Ah, yes, done. it does. Yes. My control lost connection. Hang on. There we go. No, 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 no. This game is really strange when it comes to controller. If you lose connection, you got to reset it again. Yeah. All right. All right. One more stop. Yay. I wonder it's if Jordania changes yeah. colors in the fall. Ooh, that's that would seasons? be cool. If got snow. Ooh, that would be awesome! Bottom. I need to write the creators. 
It would be so awesome. Well, at Christmas time, they have what they call the Starlight Festival. And Ooh. it's got lots of Christmassy themed stuff. Uh, wait, hang on. You two are going the wrong way. Different ways. No, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> like, I'm like, sorry, I was going the, the right way. Fluffy's right. I'm wrong. <laughs> it's like, one went left, one went right. Which way do I go? <laughs> we're actually going towards our quest destination as well. Okay. That's good. Yep. Uh, and I think it's our last Aetherite. Yep. Shred. Ethernet. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, I don't care about that. Conjurer's Guild. Yep, that is everything. That is great. And then you have to come talk to... This dude. The Silent Conjurer. I am going to be disappointed. Wait, he's going to speak, huh? I was about to say... <laughs> I was about to say that I'm going to be disappointed if he says something. I was like, he should just go dot 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> so much for silence. You are the Odan envoy? Begging your pardon, sir, but might I inspect the missive you bear? Sure. Verily, this is the seal of the Supreme Commander of the Immortal Flames. Please come with me. So you are the Uldan Envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. Remembrance service for the Fallen of Katanil. Pray, tell me adventure. What do you know of our conflict with the Empire? It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in some detail. That is well. Hmm, a message from the Admiral? A wolf has been a wolf has been sniffing around her stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, friend of my friend. I will tell you more of the Garland Thread. For the greater part of its history, Galmout was not even among the most influential nations in Isabad, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech some 50 years past helped it to raise to help to rise it help to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbours swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when all of Isabad lay within its grabs, it, turns its, it turned its ravenous gaze upon Eosia. Yet, Gaumaut's transformation did not come about by virtue of Magitech alone. Its success owed much to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor. Solus Zos Galvath, the man who built an empire in his own lifetime, Yet he has lived long, and after more than four score winters, it is said that he grows frail and ever more prone to illness. If rumours are to be believed, the matter of succession has destabilised the imperial court that would explain the empire's relative inactivity in the recent years, which, give, which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. Yet, we cannot allow ourselves to be complacent, for Gaumat still maintains a presence in Eosia, in the form of the uh, 19th Imperial Legion. X, no wait, not 19, 14. 14! 
How did I get to 19? <laughs> okay. Commanding this great host is the greatest Gaius Van Bausa. A man whose ambitions are well known to us as long as he breathes, eos in air, none of us may sleep easy. Yes, it is definitely related to Romans because I believe Gaius is also another <laughs> Roman Empire Emperor, right? Um, I believe so, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'd have to check. I vaguely recall the name. Uh, oh, as you guys know, I'm a Christian. I go to church. We study a bit of Roman history due to, uh, you know, Rome's... Uh, yeah. involvement with Christianity. Right. Gaius is definitely one name which I do find familiar. Yes, uh, there's Gaius Julius Caesar. There was also Gaius Marius who was a general. Mm, yeah, it's and, probably the Caesar yeah, one that Gaius I know. Uh, yeah, lots of names. He Augustus. is the famous one who got, I think, stabbed in the back. Ah, yeah, that does sound familiar. <laughs> okay. That Let's... Julius Caesar got stabbed in the back. His name is Gaius Julius Caesar. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if many of them got stabbed in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the calamity wreaked such devastation upon the realm that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds. Never mind rebuild our defenses. Simply put, we have not the strength to repel the empire. To add to our woes, the beast tribe continues to summon their primals, whose very existence is a bane upon the land. Each nation is the each nation uh, my tongue is kind of freezing up. Each nation is beset with its own primal problem. None has the resources to look beyond its own borders. The Admiral desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume its advance. Though the Primus pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garlands are greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must... What? We must need stand united once more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the, the English in this game sometimes. Okay, you 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 two edit. You two are editors. You know you. <laughs> Tell me, is this right, or am I just no. tripping? No, it, this I tried to warn you. This game says the phrase "must needs" a lot, among others, and it's yeah. it's almost an attempt to do something. Sort of old English esque. It is old English. People used to actually say must needs okay. on a regular basis. It was an older middle. It was I'm it not was sure. Something. It's older than current English, but it's still yeah. it's it's painful. Okay, it's <laughs> past say middle it English. It's past So this is what? Slightly pre modern? Yeah. I would think so. I think it's a mix. I think they picked out some old English phrases and threw them in to yeah, give I agree. a different kind of vibe. And <laughs> okay, wait, so like we have Middle English, <laughs> then after it comes Shakespearean English, was it? Or are those two the same? Lord, I don't remember. Fine. They're all a blend <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, all I know is we speak none of them. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Which Except for me, because I'm obsessed with Shakespeare, so I say things like egads on a regular basis. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nobody else says that anymore. <laughs> okay, well... I like Alas. Huzzah! Alas is nice. Huzzah! Um, wait, Alas is not modern? I thought Alas is modern. Uh, Alas is, is, but it's it was from used far English more English often. From yeah. Uh. Somewhere in there. Okay. I say huzzah, but only because I go to Ren Fairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so continuing this, a remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of unity which brought the people of Eosel together when, the, when last the Empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make his proposal, and I wholeheartedly approve of it. The necessary provision shall be made for a service here in Grenada, Gridania.
Does anyone else notice that her pendant looks like an upside down unicorn? Uh, Is that now? I haven't gotten a close look at her pendant yet. Looks like a plushy upside down unicorn. Uh, the guy who's receiving the letter, or the thing that she signed, his weapon looked quite interesting. It kind of reminds me of a Monster Hunter style weapon. Oh, that's the, um, the lance. For the lance, the that's Lancers. what I was thinking. Yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> the lance is, uh, yeah, but it's not just but that. Monster yeah. The fact that it's... It. The fact that it's more made out of bones or what look like bones? Hmm. It might be the horn. I, I think there's a lance that particularly used his horn, but I'd have to take a look at my crafter to tell you for sure. Mm -hmm. Actually, now that you mention it, it does look like a unicorn when you are kind of looking at a unicorn <laughs> from behind and the unicorn is having its head downwards. So you're kind of seeing the butt. It See, to me, it looks like a plushy unicorn face. You know, all big round okay. circles, but upside down. Okay, your work here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to the Flame General forthwith. Uh... Okay, now that I got a better, closer look. Yeah, I... Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I thank you for coming. May the child see you safely home. Do we go back to Uda? Or do You'll we just... see. And I get a wind up airship. Yay! Wind up airship time! Yay! I can finally take my nap. And I leveled up! Yay! Alright, do we oh. want to initiate this quest? Yes. And I think this would probably be a great place to stop for today. Yeah. But you should Just definitely the... bring out your tiny airship. Okay, um, actually, can we continue for another, like, five, ten minutes? Actually, no, uh, I think this sure. is good. I think this is good as well. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm okay. Just gonna make sure the YouTube site got gets to be long enough but uh yeah i think this is good as well okay now uh minions let's try to take a look at it can i summon more than one minions in one go no, no if you summon a new one it'll make the other one disappear oh yeah choose wisely <laughs> <laughs> you can that change them whatever you want though that person's name is Bite Sized. Oh, it's not their person, it's their minion. It's a Bite Sized Pudding. I need it. It's so angry. Oh, you haven't <laughs> seen it yet? It's adorable! No. That is too cute. It's just a purple blob with an angry face. Wait, uh, Bite, oh, bite Sized? It's a slime. Yeah, Wait, but it's made of pudding. Okay, um, it does look a little like a muck. You know, Pokemon. But yeah, you're right. I Most shall take your picture. A little smoother than that. Ooh. Maybe. Is she getting yeah. in a giant frying pan? I, it kind of looks like a giant walk to yeah. me. But I think it's supposed to be a brazar, right? Brazier. Brazier. Put fire Brazier. in it. Brazier. I edit yeah, words. I don't speak them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, for the YouTube and the streams, I think this is where we're ending it off today. So uh, if you'd like to join us the next time, uh, you know, if you're on stream, do give us a follow and, you know, you'll be alerted. And of course, you can always join our Discord channel, uh, the Dragon and White channel, where I will post up our next we normally stream regularly around Saturdays, on Saturdays around uh, 9 a.m. Uh, US time. What, 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 what's the time you guys call it again? Eastern time? Yes, we are yeah. Eastern Standard Time. And yep. it's Friday at 9 
eight or nine. Right now PM. it's Friday at nine, but we also, uh, yeah. well, eleven. depending on schedules, we'll be doing it. Usually, I think at Saturdays, on Saturdays oh. at nine. I this gotcha. was a bit of a different circumstances, but if you join our Discord, we'll be able to keep You'll you up to date. Yep. <laughs> and if you're on YouTube, well. Yeah, you, you can watch it at any time if I upload it as an episode, but you're going to be like maybe a few days to a week um, behind, behind us. Yeah, because, you know, it's going to take me time to uh, render out the video, adjust the read uh, and stuff, but it's barely, I, I barely edit stuff out anyway. So it's mostly all there. It's just, you know, out in smaller chunks that you can consume at your own time. But all the same, you know, subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And uh, do check out the links below in the description where you can see links to the novel I translate on hostednovel.com. If you'd like to support us, Patreon is there, etc. Et you know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Ciao, guys. Bye. Bye.